which is a tiny little tourist town in Cuba and we're taking a four hour hike to go and find some caves so we can swim in them in the dark. Maybe it's a South African in me but when you actually get out into the wild, into the wilderness and start breathing in that fresh air then it feels like a real holiday more so than being in a big city. One cigar contains three parts. Tripa, tripa is inside the cigar. Capote, capote is another leaf that covers the tripa. And capa, capa is the last leaf. Yeah. is how Paul keeps trying to speak to these people even though he has no idea how to speak Spanish so like he's walking with this dude and they're just trying to understand each other by like the few three or four words that they can kind of say okay we both know these words in each other's languages <laughs> Last day in Vinales, at 10 we're gonna get back in a taxi and head back to Havana where we're gonna drop my roommates off at the airport and then head out to our next destination. There's Graham. Hola. And we're walking through the streets. The city is like a small Havana, but the people are friendlier. The city's much cleaner. 
The city is cleaner. The buildings are actually still standing. And the food is cheaper. We found the remains of Che Guevara, who is that dude over there. This is essentially where they buried the dudes and uh, he was involved in overthrowing the government before this government and in the huge revolution which has put Cuba where they are today. So we just got an ice cream in Cuba. 25 American cents. I thought it was per scoop so I asked for two I ended up getting two whole ice creams. <laughs> Day in Trinidad, our last full day in Cuba, so we've rented some bicycles and we're gonna head to the beach.